Hey everyone, welcome to a day in my life at Harvard. It's 7 o'clock, I wake up, get myself ready. Good morning everyone, ohayo. And I head down. This is Courier House, one of the student dormitories of Harvard. 7.30, time for breakfast. I'm the kind of person who wants to be alone in the mornings, but here, it seems like you really have no choice but to be extroverted. Then I place myself against the wall in the corner and write my paper. After a couple of hours, I head to the yard, which is the oldest part of Harvard that dates back to the 19th century. I'm at Harvard Yard now. I'm off to see a couple of my friends to work on her project. There's Widener Library, John Harvard statue, and 27 of these gates. Directly across is Smith Campus Center. I actually like this modern building because it's airy, it's not too intense like the libraries, and it's very green. It is 12 o'clock. My group is late. <laughs> Anyways, so this is Collaborative Commons and I have rented out this room for myself and also for my group today. All right, I'm gonna do some touch-ups before my group comes and hopefully they come soon. <laughs> it's like already 20 minutes past. consumer-centric um, beauty appointments and also the business-centric uh, salon management software in the Philippines. Hello! Now, I'm finally done with the group project and now I'm off to the Harvard Dance Center. I'll be training for one hour today, not so much. Uh, a little bit lazy today. So yeah, let's go! Hello! This is the Harvard Dance Center's dressing room. So now let's go to the rehearsal room. Today, I'm alone in the studio. It's summer holidays for my ballet company, but muscles take years to build and only one day to lose it all. I've been dancing ever since I can remember. Ballet taught me discipline and forced me to challenge my limitations. Ballet is a pillar in my life and a big part of my identity after years of perfecting each movement. To be honest, I've never really liked teaching, but these days I find it really rewarding to pass my knowledge on to others, because then the experiences that I've gained throughout my career are shared and multiplied with others. Hello. I'm done with the ballet class now, I just had a little bit of dinner have a little bit of coffee. We have the lecture today um, on international business, so we're going to be doing that today and yeah, let's head to class. So. more 
in neighboring countries. Over 86% of people in the Philippines have access to the internet, and e-commerce is also on a steady rise. Hello, hi. I just got back home. It is 15 past 1 a.m. I'm really tired. Actually, I finished class much earlier, like around like 10 a.m. But I was downstairs, um, just at the dining hall, talking to a lot of people. And so, yeah, that's one of the great things about like being here, you know. Other than that, uh, it was a great day, and I think that I'm just gonna call it a day because I'm actually really tired, and tomorrow is an even bigger day. So. Thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. I hope to see you next time. Good night. Bye bye.